this comes early on in the book. It's June 1915. And it's two months since the Crilly family heard that Liam was killed at the Second Battle of Ypres. Um, so this is the day that should have been their birthday. And Katie is just resisting the whole thing furiously because she can't accept that she will ever get to be older than Liam will ever be. So here we go. Two months later, on the day that should have been our birthday, the longest day of the year, I spread Liam's letters out on the bed and reread them in the order they'd been written. I knew them off by heart. In January, not long after he went to the front, he'd sent a letter to mother full of certainty that he would come through the war unscathed. Half an hour ago, Jerry sent a storm of shells over. I thought I was a goner. I heard a rumbling Mary come my way. That's a 17-inch shell, in case you don't know. But could I run or throw myself clear? No, I couldn't budge. You'll think I was afraid. But no, I was up to my knees in mud, gripped as tight as though someone poured a ton of cement on me. I stood there, braced for the worst, and the sound roared right on by. After all that, it was only a field ambulance I heard, straining along a track in high gear. The whole thing over in a flash, longer in the telling than in the happening. So you see, my life is charmed. There's no call to worry about me. Our last billet was blown to smithereens not long after we'd left it. That building was hundreds of years old. It's nothing but a mess of old rubble now, yet here I am, still in one ugly piece. I should have known better than to believe him. He was cheerful for our parents' benefit, knowing his letters to them would be read out loud as soon as they arrived and many times over. They were passed around Mother's sewing circle until the paper wore thin, and the ink at the edge of the pages got smudged from too much handling. The letters he wrote to me were darker, meant for my eyes only. A shadow fell on them and deepened as the wet, bitter winter dragged on. I dream, cause it's the closest I'll ever get to you.